Hello and welcome to this demonstration of how to use Noisemap 5 to create a noise model from a bitmap. In this first episode we are going to create, load and calibrate the bitmap. Someone has sent me an email and as an attachment, a JPEG, I've saved that attachment to a file. So let's convert it into a bitmap. So I open Microsoft Paint, Windows Paint, and I will load the JPEG. And here is the JPEG. And we can see that it's a housing layout with a road at the bottom, which is the noise source. Let's save this as a bitmap. And that's straightforward. You go to File, Save As, BMP, which means bitmap, and choose the 24-bit bitmap. There are other options here, but don't use those. Just use the 24-bit bitmap. Click Save, and it will save it in the same folder as the JPEG. So that first step is straightforward. Having created the bitmap, we're now ready to start noise map and start building the noise model. So open noise map by double clicking on the icon. It looks for the dongle, shows us the license information and then presents us with a blank screen. And the first thing to do is to create a database file where the model will be stored. So click on file and new database file. And here we'll type a name for the database. and a description. This will help us to know what is in the file the next time we open it. I need to make sure it's stored in the right folder of course and I've already created one called Glendon Road and I'll save it there and there is the name with the extension NMDB Noise Map Database. And now I must create it and in the creation it saves the calculation parameters to the database and it's okay to use the default parameters at this stage. And then it confirms that it has created the database. This could be important if you're working over a network or over the internet um, just in case there is some communication problem you don't want to find you've done a lot of work and it hasn't been saved. Now we're ready to load the bitmap. So we go to view, load bitmap, and there is the bitmap. We may have to navigate to it. I've already navigated to it. So I select that and open it. And it now appears quite small in the middle of the screen. Before I can really do any work on it I need to enlarge it so I'll just pull the corners out to fill the screen. But I need to zoom in on the model so I need to go to view mode, pick zoom and I'll zoom in. Now we can see that that looks like the JPEG that we saw in paint but you will notice that there's no scale there's no um, grid or um, scale marker but I do happen to know that this building here is 10 meters wide and I'm going to use that information to calibrate the bitmap in other words to tell noise map whereabouts this picture is located in the world so let's zoom in a bit further I'm still in the zoom crosshairs and I'm going to calibrate on that end of the building. There we are, I've zoomed in. Now it's pixelated but I know that the two corners of the building are here and here. So let's now go to the pick mode. Pick means pick the coordinates that I'm going to use for calibration. So now I've got the crosshairs, I'm in pick mode I'm going to create 
the first calibration point on this corner of the building. And the model must be in positive space, in other words, in the positive quadrant of the grid. And I don't want any part of it to be in the negative. So I'm going to make this point 1000, 1000. And select that. So the building is 10 meters wide and the calibration points must be along the same y-axis line. So this point will be um, 10 meters from the first point. So that is 1010. And the y-axis line is horizontal. It must be the same as the first point. So that's 1000. OK. Now it tells me that it's sloping downwards at 4.4 degrees. Well, I, I can see that. And we've also got the position of the top right and bottom left coordinates. This enables us to check that nothing is in the negative space. So that's OK. And now I select exit to go back to the main view. Now exit is on the calibrate menu item. I click exit. It now says create an RNB file. An RNB file is a calibration file which saves the calibration information for this map so I don't have to do the calibration again. So yes, I do want to create one. And it will give it the same name as the BMP but with the extension RNB which is the calibration file. Save that. Once the calibration is finished, I return to the noise map screen and you will see how the grid is slightly rotated. That's because the bitmap always remains at its original rotation. You can't actually rotate the bitmap. But what we can do is to zoom in and there are several ways of zooming in in noise map. One is to use zoom to area selection, which I click on. I can now draw a box around there and that zooms to the full bitmap. I, I can of course zoom in a bit further perhaps. Um, so if I press page if I press page up that also zooms in but it's moved off the bottom of the screen. So if I press the cursor down button that effect moves the map upwards. I can make it a bit bigger so I'll press page up again and that's quite nice because I'm going to start off by digitizing the road. So I'm going to add the road. So click on the green Add Objects button. Add road segments. Automatically generate the height from the ground model. Well, there isn't a ground model, but I still want to put heights on all the objects that I'm adding. So I won't add any height. Everything will be essentially at sea level. Click OK to move to the Add mode. I'm now going to make a line following the centre line of this road. Following the curvature as reasonably well as I can. It won't be perfect, but that doesn't really matter. I need the segments to be as long as I can get them whilst following the curvature of the road. and noise map will always break at the grid lines so I'll try and put this point on the grid line. And this is slightly awkward, I'll go there and I think I can get reasonably well then if I go right to the end of the road. Right click on the mouse to come to terminate the addition and it's asking me, well, which scenario is this in? It's obviously in the base scenario. I don't have anything else in the model yet. You don't need to worry too much about scenarios if you're just making uh, very simple models. Click OK. Now, due to some quirk, when there are no objects added, noise map displaces the objects from the bitmap. But you can get it right just by switching the bitmap off 
and on again using this button. And here are the properties. If the properties window is not open, then just click on the pen and paper button in the toolbar to open it. And you can then reposition it to a convenient place um, on the screen. So let's give this um, road a name. Oh, it's got a name. Let's add the name. Um, but we'll also notice that the lines do come a bit outside the highway boundaries. And in fact, if I measure that across there, well, it's about seven metres, but the carriageway width is half of that value. So 3.5 metres. Now, you can see that that new width isn't redrawn until I click apply. And now it's redrawn. And I think that follows the line of the road, not perfectly, but pretty well. And fairly accurately on this side, which is nearest to the houses. So I think we can live with that. So far, this is still in the computer memory. And to make sure it's saved properly, I need to save it to the database. So I go to File, Commit Changes. The shortcut will be Control S. And I'll save it to the base scenario. And it tells me that that's been done successfully. That's an important confirmation, as I've said before, particularly if you're working on a network. Well, I think that's enough for episode one. And in episode two, we will learn how to add building objects. But for now, let's exit noise map. We go to file and exit. And thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.